Happy New Year, everyone. This is Rochin Sankar. I'm co-founder and CEO of a startup called Fabrica. And Fabrica, his mission is uh, is to build the foundational uh, fabric technologies that will support the build out of next generation computing and distributed computing in, in all of its forms. Um, been asked to comment on what I think and uh, are the main trends that are going to drive you know networking in 2023 this year. Um, so I'll go in order of what I think is going to be the, the, the main drivers of change in networking. First off, I think that artificial intelligence and machine learning are going to make a uh, profound and sustained impact on how networking technology gets built and deployed over the next several years. And that's going to start uh, coming to life in 2023 from the scale out of very high performance machine learning workloads to the amount of memory and storage it demands um, and really kind of change the focus from being a you know, very large flow count virtualization driven kind of technology in networking that's dominated the scene for the past several years into a, a very different high performance machine learning uh, uh, optimized type of, of connectivity topology at both the physical layer, at the transport layer, at the architecture layer. Number two, I think that sustainability is going to be a huge topic for 2023 uh, in terms of making sure the cost and the power footprint of the networks and the overall compute uh, that we build out, uh, and that's ranging from telco core to the edge, uh, is going to have a super big focus on sustainability, how we can build it to ensure that our carbon footprint uh, stays relatively neutral or improves, um, you know, from where we are today over the next several years. The appetite for computing is uh, going exponential, and the desire to have it all the way to the edge and to our devices is is growing. How do we make that, you know, far more sustainable than what it is today? I think technologies, initiatives, people are going to have to come together to really start projects that make that real. And number three, I think that uh, even though we're Right now, in what seems like a pretty economically uncertain time, and there might be a lot of uh, thinking that the capex will go down uh, and, and affect the amount of spending in IT infrastructure over 2023, I actually think that there's going to be a, a bounce back effect in that more players are going to uh, focus on what they build in terms of infrastructure as being a competitive differentiator. And that comes from SaaS companies to service providers and not just the you know the top you know hyperscale clouds but really anybody who's in the business of providing um, you know services over infrastructure to users that IT infrastructure is going to be more and more of a uh, competitive differentiator and people are going to build more domain specific clouds and networks and infrastructure to be able to serve that so those are my top three trends for 2023 uh, happy new year to everybody and I wish you all and your families a very healthy uh, and successful 2023. Bye.